I'm Mrs. Uma Gordon, consultant gynecologist and specialist in reproductive medicine and surgery. I'm also the clinical director of Bristol Fertility Clinic. A lot of patients come for IVF ICSI treatment and one of the complications we try to avoid at all costs is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, otherwise known as OHSS. Now, we are just the dosage of stimulation, i.e. the development of the egg sacs based on certain parameters, um, your weight, um, your ovarian reserve tests, based on these things, as well as your past response, we are just your gonadotropin dosage. Gonadotropins are those which allow your egg sacs to develop. However, sometimes patients can still over-respond despite all the precautions we have taken, especially if they've got a hormonal condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. And then they are at risk of this particular condition called OHSS. OHSS is where your ovary is enlarged to a considerable size. You start collecting fluid in your body, in your tummy, in your lungs. And it is something that can get worse if you become pregnant and can carry on uh, for a few weeks. And it's something that all fertility clinics are trying to avoid. Thankfully, once a diagnosis of polycystic ovarian syndrome has been made, or we find that your ovarian reserve tests showing high levels of AMH, that means very good egg numbers, then we can put you on a lower dosage and we can put you on a regime called antagonist regime. Sometimes this is known as the SHORT protocol, but really the correct term is antagonist regime. In that regime, if you do over respond, we can then rescue you, i.e. we can change the trigger it is the trigger which cascades you into this complication of OHSS. So we can change the trigger, still undertake a collection, collect the eggs, create embryos and freeze them. And then allow you to have a frozen transfer when the ovaries have settled down and the risks of OHSS are completely removed in a frozen cycle. And your success rates will be excellent as well. So all clinics will be talking to you about this complication and how they're doing efforts to minimize the complication. Thank you.